Hey kitty cats, what's crackalackin? Welcome to Just Ask Josh. For all your life's unanswerable questions, well, they just became answerable. Let's go. The first question comes from Joseph Gilchrist. Hey Josh, what do you do when you're having trouble with schoolwork? Okay, thanks, bye. Okay, thanks, bye. Hey Joseph and the Technicolor Gilchrist, schoolwork can be hard, boring, and some of us just aren't cut out for it. Like when your friends are arguing after an exam whether the answer was 8 or 10 and you wrote disposable pants. If you struggle with schoolwork, there's one simple solution. Become the class clown. Mm. Everyone loves the class clown. Your friends love it, your teacher secretly loves it, and they won't tell you this in school. But when you're trying to get a job, if you mention you were the class clown, you'll get the job on the spot. Trust me. So, uh, Josh, what qualifications do you have for the position of neurosurgical rocket scientist? Uh, I was the class clown. Good to have you on board. John Cavallero. Cavallero! If animals could speak, which one would be the rudest? Oh, definitely a turkey. Have you seen those things? <laughs> Matt Mansfield. Hi Josh, should I trust an electrician who has no eyebrows? Kevin Bay. Bay. Hi Matt Mansfield, or should I say Personsfield? <coughs> it's 2018 Matt. Matt, you've stumbled across something that we've all worked out subconsciously, but no one's ever articulated it. And that is, a person's trustworthiness is based on their eyebrows. But there's different levels. If someone has no eyebrows, or drawn on eyebrows, I wouldn't say you can't trust this person, but I would keep an eye brow on them. Someone with fair eyebrows, like myself, is somewhat trustworthy, but I wouldn't tell them everything. Someone with thick, luscious eyebrows on fleek, this is a person you can trust with your life. But Matt, under no circumstances can you trust anyone who has a monobrow. Hope that helps. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye. And last but not least, a question has come via email. <laughs> I know, right? What's next? You can mail your questions to Just Ask Josh? Oh my gosh. That's such a good idea. The email comes from Lilac Cory. Coriander. Hi Josh, I like a boy but he hates me back. And I don't know how to get him to like me. It's so complicated. Life is hard. Lilac Cory, a graph? Let me get this right. You like a boy that hates you and you still like him. Lilac, you can do better than this. Never settle for anyone who would hate you. Especially if he has a monobrow. <coughs> You cannot trust those people. Why would you even like him? Hang on, is he the class clown? Oh my gosh, I love him already. If he is the class clown, congratulations. But ask yourself, what do clowns like? From what I can tell by the movies, clowns love a pie in the face. They can't get enough of them. Throw a pie in his face and he'll love you forever. Good luck. Good luck. Just a little heads up, I'm going to Fiji for two weeks with my church, which means next week there'll be no Just Ask Josh. Rip. I'll still be doing Wake Up Wednesdays on my Instagram and I have two more World Cup videos coming out. Well, that's Just Ask Josh for this week. Leave your questions in the comments below and if you ever find yourself asking, what do you think I should do? Remember, Just Ask Josh. Pardon me, boy. Is that the Chattanooga choo choo? Yeah. <laughs>